This will not be easy. And we will not go down without a fight. Survival will be key. We will survive or die. Surviving Colorado. What's happening, everybody? Street here, PC Gamer, Shenanigans Extraordinaire. Welcome back. Episode 5, Season 2 of Surviving Colorado. Now, we just left Whitestone Mound, which was very plentiful. And uh, we got tons of ammo. We got meds. We got just standard supplies. Now, before we go any further in this episode, let's have a look at our goals. Now, goals should be pretty standard again this episode. Goal number one is going to be get to Sleepy Crest. We're going to check that out. Hopefully, we can find some good stuff. Goal number two is going to be to survive Sleepy Crest. Goal three, still need a fucking backpack. Number four, just upgrade general equipment because we are surviving like bosses right now. And then five, I'm just going to set a goal and say I want to murder at least ten zombies without dying myself. So let's give that a shot. Alright, without further ado, dude, let's get on the way. Now, we need to get over to Sleepy Crest, and it's basically just a short hike along this ridge top. So, I'm going to save you guys the uh, map. I know you guys love my travel maps, dude. They're so beast, aren't they? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how some of these guys produce uh, these, these super expansive travel maps, but it's probably beyond my capabilities, and it doesn't really matter because most YouTubers don't take the fucking time to edit and make travel maps so I at least got one up on that right guys all right dude sleepy crest gotta get into uh gotta get my mind set for this journey ahead now I'm hoping in sleepy crest we can just kind of gather some general loot um we are we're doing extremely well right now in this survival series and we're basically heading toward our long-term goal at this point which is getting to the airfield, and I think we're well on our way to doing that. We have plenty of ammo. Now, I still would really like to find that damn backpack because I need to find a long-range weapon. If I came across somebody right now in these hilltops, I would be done. I would have to completely hide. I'd have to run. You know, if, if I'm in a town or something, then I might have an advantage as long as I see them first. But, uh... I don't know, man. I'd, I'd feel a lot more comfortable if I could have a long-range weapon or a, a mid-range weapon at least while I'm running around through these freaking fields and shit. <laughs> Gotta admit, don't want to find somebody running out with a uh, a freaking M4 or something while I'm just chilling. That just wouldn't be good. All right, my guy's tired. Let's build up some sprint, guy. Come on. I need an energy drink right now. That would be baller. That would be extremely baller. Uh, I'm not seeing anyone. I hate it when it starts getting more open. I mean, running along the ridge tops there probably wasn't very stealthy of me, but <laughs> you start coming into open fields like this, and you're like, Jesus Christ, there's not even grass protecting me or, you know, hiding, shading me from view. I wish I could stack those, man. Just combine them. I, I think that I have a full freaking clip. Yeah, that one's full. The other one just got three. I'll at least organize and get those bandages up. How did I even survive? Yeah, let's get let's get the inventory set, man. I need quick keys for my uh, meds. Alright, I can smell Sleepy Crest. Smell that. Oh, yeah. It smells like baby vomit and broccoli or something. I don't know. It, it fucking stinks. Too. There's just rotting zombies over there. I'm sure the animals of Colorado are drawn to it. Going along the road, man. This this area can get extremely busy from time to time, man. Being Rocky Ford is right there. Boulders is right there. There it is. I can see a sleepy crest. Oh, we're in the vicinity like that thinking this would probably be uh, just shit directly in would probably be the best bet I know that they've added a military installment kind of off to the right here you can't see it because of the way the mountains positioned but there is a military camp kind of off to the side now but it's generally just completely overran with zombies and I haven't ever seen that great of equipment in there and then the thing is now is do you 
you gotta balance the is it worth the reward to go in and lose half of my health or possibly die from zombies or do I say fuck it and just move right past it and I'm not willing to make that decision yet because I haven't seen what's over there so <laughs> we will find out now I do see two zombies out in front okay there's five zombies six Seven, eight, there's about eight just kind of right in the area. Oh man, they're all very active too. They're all moving around. Okay, see, now there's the military camp. There's an APC, a couple of Humvees, a tent. Um, I know there, there are a couple of spawns over there, but we'll have to see what we can come across. At least I'm not seeing a team of bandits running around. That's, 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 uh, Sweet sauce numero uno right there. <laughs> Alright, so I'm thinking we move in around the side of these zombies here. Try to get into that barn. Let's try to hit these buildings and see what they hold. I will bring my pitchfork out so I can stab zombie face. Now, I would like to try to get 10 kills on zombies, but I don't want to push my luck either. So I'm going to kind of take them as I need them. We'll see what goes down. Hopefully I don't fail my zombie task just trying to stay alive, but we'll see. <laughs> just watching for players and windows or quicker movement than expected from zombies. Generally the, uh, the contrast between the world and a player and a zombie are like completely different. Players just move sporadic and you can tend to see them off in the uh, off in the distance better than zombies. All right, we got zombies around, and you know I'd like them to keep their distance at the moment. I'm just trying to check the barn, dude. Just want to find out what's going down. Shout out to the guy that said he couldn't watch my video because of the bro talk. I loved it. He was like, "Dude, you look like you got some pretty cool gameplay and you know how to survive." But I had to, I had to pause it or uh, mute it because of the bro talk. I was like, "Whatever, dude. Can't handle, the, can't handle the bro talk, dude. And you just need to see your way out of the video, I guess. You know what I'm saying, man? <laughs> what the fuck's bro talk? I guess the way I talk, apparently. Oh, whatever. All right, what's going down, zombies? wasn't shit in the barn let's see if we can get over to that house I'm expecting there to be some food or drinks in that house possibly a melee weapon not that I really need an upgraded melee but I'm not gonna balk at it you know I would actually like to say right now that we're gonna add a long-term goal number two to the list I need to dump off this impractical heavy melee weapon for something much more practical and lightweight like a hatchet or a tack knife all right, you zombie bitch, come over here, dude. I got a pitchfork for you. You're gonna come over here and try to get crazy. Uh -huh. I'm gonna get crazy right back, son. Ugh. Take it. You love it. You enjoyed it. God, there's a lot of zombies over there. Wow, and they are all just sprinting across the freaking driveway. <laughs> all right, we're gonna be battling here. All right, we're gonna have to fight our way over to this house. Ah, it's so good, God. Starts bringing the evil screed out of me when I kill my minions. All right, I'm not going there though. This is surviving Colorado. Oh, come here. You guys are drawn to the pitchfork, aren't you? Got a bunch of ranch zombies out here. They're like, hey, I need to bail hay. <laughs> Give me that pitchfork. Ooh, a Jericho. Yeah, buddy, I'll take a pistol. Let's see, how can I work this? You know what? Fuck the AKM mag. Gone. I'm taking that Jericho. Nice. There's some more. F okay, hold on. Hold up. Zombie. You think I have time for your shenanigans right now? I don't, bro. Okay, street gets. Wow, this guy is. Are you superhuman? Are you a superhuman zombie? Like, Lord. Wasn't expecting him to be so hard to kill. I'm glad that there's bodies everywhere. It's just zombie bodies, just dead zombies. Ugh. Yeah, you like that? Take it. Alright, you know what? I'm feeling lucky right now. I'm feeling like I can just 
pitchfork stab zombies till the end of the world. I'm just gonna do it. Just nothing but contenders out here. Pitchfork is ruthless, dude. I love it. Ugh. Ugh, die, zombie bitch. It's so good. Here we go. Man, I wish it was double XP weekend again. Just be racking up XP. Come here, buddy. You're no different than any of the others. You're gonna get stabbed over and over again. Good shit. Zombies are dying. And it makes me feel good about myself. Another one. Hey, look at that. Hey, two more. All right. What's up, fellas? Ladies and gentlemen. Two more bodies down. How many zombies is that? How many have I killed right there? I might actually make my goal. Oh my god, is that a pickaxe? Oh, I said upgrade equipment. I didn't think I was going to talk about getting a 9 million a pickaxe. Hell yeah. I like that. Sweet sauce. Alright, there's generally nothing up here anymore, but yeah, I was going to say, dude, the second story buildings just pretty much don't have shit in them anymore. Hey, another zombie. Here, you like pickaxes? Pretty sure you're a pickaxe fan, and I just introduced you to some of the best parts of it. Oh, man. Alright, we got another contender to finish up with here, I guess. Take that money you're leaving behind. If you're just gonna drop cash when I kill you, then you know I might be uh, might be down to kill a couple more of you guys. <laughs> How many zombies is that? I think that's an upgrade. Upgrade. Well, that just about wraps up Sleepy Crest, dude. I think that was pretty baller. I don't think I want to freaking even get into this these military camps. I, I've already come up on an extra gun and an even beefier melee weapon, dude. I love the pickaxe. Oh. God, the pickaxe is so good. Well, a little glitcheroonie right there. Excuse me. God. It's like I just pulled up my shorts and showed you the tip right there and you saw my start bar. That was crazy. Here, guys, look at this. Oh. <laughs> God, it's so hairy. <laughs> Alright, guys. Well, thank you much for watching these, dude. I appreciate all the support. Season 1 has absolutely blown up in my book. I've never, well I have, I, I do have a couple of Ifinity videos that have gone viral, but uh, this season one, episode one, is at like 6,000 like, or 6,000 views, and like almost 200 likes, and I appreciate that so much, and season two is uh, rapidly, or rapidly gaining on it, so uh, I think we're doing good with these survival series, I'm glad you guys are enjoying them. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, like these videos. Subscribe if you haven't already. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's uh, let's get one more zomble while we're at it. Anybody else want a little bit? You know, I'm trying to log off, fellas. Okay? This is a serious series, and there's been some shenanigans that have gone down in here because the murdering of zombies has been so absolutely plentiful. <laughs> I'm not really sure, you know, what to do about it, but I think we're going to move up the hill, dude. All right, dude, a next adventure will soon come. Thanks for watching again, guys. Don't forget, like these videos. See you next time.